I know this already passed, you know, the other weekend or whatever, but I gotta I gotta give props to Otto Wallen, all right? Because when I first saw Otto Wallen, it was when he fought Tyson Fury. And I made videos uh basically saying that Otto Wallen was a bum. All right. I called him a bum. I said he was trash because I felt like he was a cherry pick for Tyson Fury, which I still do think he was a cherry pick for Tyson Fury at the time. And the the main reason I felt that was because Otto Wallen, I did not recognize anybody he fought. You know, he was just fighting none but tomato cans. Uh, so I have to give some props to Otto Wallen now, though, because recently he has been showing me that he's not just like some bum all right i did see his fight with dominic brazil and i thought he looked fantastic in that fight against dominic brazil um i thought he gave dominic brazil a boxing lesson and now i know that dominic brazil is one of the most slowest heavyweights on planet earth i know that dominic brazil has no defense i know that dominic brazil is extremely flat-footed and he's so hittable so giving dominic brazil a boxing lesson is not really much to celebrate but dominic brazil is a guy that has only been beaten by deontay wilder and uh anthony joshua and he's always been extremely tough you know this is a guy that has always showed tremendous heart, and a lot of times his heart is what is able to, even though he doesn't have that much talent, his heart is able to like overcome his opponent's uh, skill set, and he beats them, right? He's done that a few times throughout his career where he'll beat a guy who's beating him because he has such heart, uh, Dominic Brazil. So, you know, again, you know, I'm not saying like, oh my God, this makes Otto Wallen a top tier heavyweight because he gave uh, Dominic Brazil a boxing lesson but I do think that this shows that Otto Wallen is definitely better than what I personally thought he was I thought Otto Wallen was a nobody a, a low-level guy but now it makes sense as to why he gave Tyson Fury a competitive fight um I mean he cut up Tyson Fury worse than Deontay Wilder he had Tyson Fury bleeding and shit you know like cut up and shit so I think what I'm getting at is Otto Wallen is a better fighter um, than I originally gave him credit for. Um, now, obviously, people are going to say, well, Dominic Brazil's damaged goods because he got knocked out in one round against Deontay Wilder. But you could say the same thing about Dominic Brazil when he fought Deontay Wilder because Anthony Joshua gave Dominic Brazil a beating of a lifetime. Like he, You, you could say th that the version of Dominic Brazil who fought Deontay Wilder was washed up or over the hill or damaged goods because he took a pace in like against anthony joshua anthony joshua beat him up to a bloody ball remember his face he was like disfigured like he beat him up so i don't really want to hear that excuse where like otto wallen be a damaged good dominic brazil um i think otto wallen is what i'm getting at is i think that otto wallen deserves a little bit more credit than i originally gave him you know what i'm saying from the start from when I first saw him fight. And yeah, that's all I have to say.